Giuseppe Ragusa, an assistant professor of economics at Luis Guido Carli University. Uh, good to see you, uh, Giuseppe. Good so, morning. the S&P actually also cited uh, the ruling coalition, the cracks within the coalition within Berlusconi's government. But the bottom line is, they've not done enough, and they've not done it quickly enough, and now they're risking the whole of Europe. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, right. Actually, I think it's very suggestive that Standard & Poor's said this is a political decision, and the government actually complained it was a political decision. But really, the solution of the Italian debt crisis is all about politics. It's about finding resources, finding the political strength to implement the reforms that Italy uh, really needs. Uh, so that's what has been lacking. This is this political willingness to try to go against uh, interest and trying to reform an uh, economic system that sometimes doesn't really work very well. And the Financial Times this morning in its editorial pointing out that Italy could have done this several months back when those yields first started rising and now the ECB stepped in and bought the bonds and given them some more time and it's effectively weakened the ECB and European leaders because Berlusconi's back isn't up against the wall quite as much as it might have been had the ECB not been buying its bonds. Yeah, that's right. That's the really uh, delicate equilibrium between uh, trying to force Italy to do the right thing at the same time guaranteeing uh, that the financial market is going to work well and you can sell the bonds. So it's a very delicate ta task for the ECB trying to put Berlusconi uh, with a shoulder on the wall and the other side doesn't scare the market. So actually Italy will be uh, doing not only a few months ago, but like a few years ago, this reform. These are the same reforms everybody right, in Italy Berlusconi is talking about. Berlusconi has had years to implement these 17 reforms. 17 out make, of 19. So. Make Italy a more economically competitive place. What he's done with this latest uh, set of measures is not really structurally reform, though. He's just raising taxes. He's not really even cutting right. spending. So, so how does it need to change? How would you change that formula? Well, it's very difficult, and to do that, uh, you need to have a very strong political majority. Uh, you have to find consensus in the country, and probably this government is not going to be able to do so. So that's why I think even the major financial newspaper in Italy is calling for his to resign, resign uh, because I think at this point it seems to be clear that if something has to be done, you need a very big coalition of interest of. Uh, different interests were represented. Is there represented. anybody that could lead that coalition? Uh, well, there are many names who will do that. The problem, I don't think, is about the leader. It's about the common understanding of all the parts. So it's more complicated of a single guy leading the way. I think we need everybody well, to... Well, that kind of change seems a long way off. Unfortunately, Europe uh, needs help right now. What do you see happening as a next step here? I mean, we're, we've got Greece fighting for its next tranche of aid. What's the end game here? I mean, it's, it's very difficult to see what's the end game here. I can say what probably should happen. The problem is, again, you have to be very uh, equilibrated to uh, organize the thing. I think Greece needs to be saved. I think there are many people who say Greece has to go default, has to go outside the euro. The problem is with Greece going outside the euro system, it's not clear what's going to happen. And you can see an equilibrium where after, after Greece, Italy, Spain are going to have an incentive to go out. So you the don't euro. think that Greece could actually default and stay in the euro? Well, that's, that's, that's very delicate. So the, the Greek financial system uh, is, is in a mess. Also, the uh, public finance system is in a mess. So if you default, you have to have some sort of uh, funding in order to finance the deficit. They've got to bail it out. All yeah. right. Giuseppe Ragusa, we've got to leave it there. Assistant Professor of Economics at Luis Guido Carli University in Rome. Thanks for being with us.